Hi everybody, in this tutorial I am going to discuss about how will you create your own custom shopping cart in PSU MySQL. This is our e-commerce system. With this e-commerce system, I will show you step by step. To create shopping cart, we need to store data into session. This is the temporary data. If you want permanently, we need to add the data into cookie. I will show you in session. Here is the HTML form add to cart. Um, we create the products with the blue pin with the product and we have information in the form as it is. Add to cart quantity description amount name product ID and many others those are hidden and button is open I'm gonna click on button the product has been added successfully we can see our cart so how that added add header.php form submit we got the form data with form data class and the data we submit into the API add to card dot with the data Add to cart here. We counted the how many cart. The cart is our session. If product ID, submitting product ID and session product ID is same, we will not add this the product into cart. Otherwise, we will add the requested product all the information will add here and if success you are showing the message the product has been added successfully here the product already is in the cart suppose I added the product already is in the cart I had another one that had a successfully error. So in this way we can make our card in very simple way. This is the card. We read data from session and we are doing loop with the HTML in our order system. Add orders, order with.
in my heart. Heart in this heart loop. Yes, we are doing the loop. We are reading data from the past, counting years, and doing loop. Calculating the price of total, different charge, total, total shifting charge, and entering data into our HTML with loop. We can update when update we are updating the quantity that quantity. When remove we got the remove position. We are re-initializing the remove one with the next data. And finally, we are doing unset, the last one. Which one will be removed? If that means we got the remove position doing loop and doing break. When we got the remove position with break, we start here remove position, we initialize the remove in data with next data doing loop, finally we unset. We can remove in this way. Now we will process the order. Keeping at this, we will insert data, doing information, we will insert data, finally, we will process the orders. Item will be saved, all the items will be saved. If referrals, we need to pay in. We are sending email both to the customer and to the seller. Some demo data here. Order has been completed successfully. Now we're gonna see order. There are all the information you can see. Transaction, keeping address with the data, billing information, this item, keeping cost, 
কোথাও দেখ ইউনিভার্স স্ট্যাটাস ইট কমপ্লিটেড দা ওয়ার ক্যান চেঞ্জ দা কমপ্লিটেড এই স্ট্যাটাস সো ইন দিস ওয়ে উই ক্যান মেক দা শপিং কার্ড এন্ড উই ক্যান ডু অদার প্রসেস ইন পিএসসি মাইক্রো Thanks for watching this video tutorial.